so. Well, we're going to wait because we've already played them. Anyway, who wants to finish uh, the one game? Would you guys like to finish the Artful Escape? Ooh, woo. Let's do it. Okay. Let me open it up. Let me change our title. Going on an artful adventure, artful escape. Boom! All right. More beer? Oh, okay. Harry's having more beer. Mood whiplash, but sure. Damn right. If I'm not giving you the emotional whiplash, then what am I doing? I have too many games, you guys. All right, let me mute this. So the, for those of you guys who did not get to be here for a while yesterday, I'm gonna give you a two minute game re recap from piss yourself horror to tripping on hard drugs. Damn right. It's what we do here at the ham house. Um. The Artful Adventure is kind of like an interesting sci-fi fantasy type game. Oh yeah, I forgot how hard it runs. He a blonde head boy. He be playing in the Hello? Okay, I just want to make yeah, it's just, uh and Carl Willis. Yeah, Carl is will I stop getting new what? I have so many games that I could never possibly play them all. My idea is to play them all. That's what I'm doing. But anyway, so the Artful Escape is an adventure. It's kind of sci-fi. We are a normal kid from a normal town whose uncle, uh, Johnson Vendetti. Allow me to move my face so you can see the poster. Johnson Vendetti. Nope, you can't see it. Johnson Vendetti was my uncle who was a folk uh, singer who was extremely popular and very famous. He apparently died under some mysterious circumstances. Um, and ever since then, my destiny has been to apparently take after him and walk in his footsteps and be a um, folk singer. His agent, everyone from his agent to like his old friends to my family have this high expectation of me to be the next Johnson Vendetti. But I am Francis Vendetti, as you can see up here. So the problem is. It's the 20th anniversary of his, uh, Johnson Vendetti's, uh, titular record, Pines, or Penis, as we were calling it last night, um, uh, has been released and we are going to do a concert. But before, on the eve of the concert, I was, the titular record, yes, I was, uh, I was abducted by aliens and I have now been on a cosmic adventure to not only discover who I am, but to shred sweet, sweet music all over the galaxy. So after, as we went through the universe, we found out recently that I am now the captain of the cruise ship that goes around playing rock and roll to everybody. The person who was in charge, Lightman, the man who came to rescue us from the humdrum drummery of our life, has been fired. Let's get into it. I forgot how fucking loud this game. Okay. There we go. Johnson Vendetti's Johnson, a concert experience. Neither pines nor penis is involved in the title of anything besides the record. True. No pines nor penises were harmed in the making of this game either. Oh, um, also I got to pick out his outfit. Yes, he's wearing orange hot shorts over red stockings and garters with a purple mesh top, which I think was Mr. Poe's choice, um, and a studded leather jacket. Um, I made it! Yeah, this is happening. Oh, 
I love him. Yeah, he's uh we chat and I had a lot of fun picking out this outfit last night. Uh we were also extremely inebriated at that point. I wonder how Mr. Poe's cult party is going. I don't know, I forgot about the cult party. Uh-oh. Welcome back, Captain. I am at your service. I'm not the captain, Zom. I'm quite positive. You are. Where's Lightman? Lightman being the person who brought us here. I believe he's removing his belongings from the captain's quarters. <sighs> Yikes forever. I'm just a little lightly. Oh, that's me. Blew my antlers off my head. You guys, I'm doing it. This guy's my favorite. Just the little... I liked, I liked Potato before he was cool. Thanks. Do you even own a... Do you even own a Potato t-shirt? I just want to look at things. This song... I don't want to pull shapes. Dance complete. Okay, thank you. I like the little yes. My favorite is the little shimmying dude. It's hot fun in the summertime. Glimmer dim. Hot fun in the summertime. I might have found a little piece of myself there. Hi, Gwenny. Lightman was getting a bit stale. Where to? I'm gonna go up to the mezzanine first to see if there's anything up there I shouldn't know about. Always explore all the optional side quests first. I wonder if these little grassy things have names. Oh, the little grassy guys from last night in Glimmer Dim! They're so cute. This is sold out. Oh now that everyone likes him. It's a flash. Wow. Now that everyone likes him. They're trying to say that I'm shit. It's bizarre. As I look upon myself, I think, who is that strange creature? Potato! The elegant potato. Okay, it's closed. Alright, Mr. Shimmy. Where to? Going downstairs. Oh, <laughs> the weird t-shirt guy is gonna be down here again. I think he's my favorite character. Oh, he's look, he's packing everything up. Party's over. Wait, I should make sure. This fucking guy. Ah, Captain! Rico? On the house? Nope. <laughs> the fucking coat guy. Rico? On the house? Nope. Party's over. Yes, it is, sir. Lightning's getting ready to leave. Lightman. I don't know what to say. Say so you'll captain the lung as masterfully as I did. I'm not the captain. You are. They can't put this on me. I have no idea what I'm doing. Trust me when I say I believe you, kid. But also trust me when I say you're wrong. I'm not who you think I am. I'm sorry. Oh, you're I sorry, think you huh? are who you are. You're sorry? I just don't want to cause any trouble. Kid, that's the worst thing about you. Can I make a request as former captain? Sure. There's one station to go before you can get back to Calypso. Would you have me in the support slot? Oh. Of course I would. I'll pick the stage if you don't mind. Got a feeling I won't be around again. And there's an old friend I want to visit. You'll get there one day, young blood. Even if you don't want to. Where's that? The end, I guess. 
Oh, why did this just get so sad? Oh, no, I don't... Everything okay? <laughs> you know, all things considered, I'm remarkably calm. We're all gonna get to the end someday, you guys. Enjoy the ride while it lasts. Where to? Oh, okay, bye, let us back. She in her shop, that would make more sense. Now that everyone likes him, I don't. Well, if it ain't the captain. I didn't mean for this to happen. Doesn't matter if you meant it. It's how it is. How's he taking it? He seems a little spaced out. Nah, no pun intended. Ah. Are you... Am I what? Upset? It's like Hitchhiker's Guide was written by a psychedelic rocker, yeah. <laughs> Been upset for a long time. Kinda hard to reach a crescendo, you know? Is this about you and Lightman? You mean Mark? Been about that for a while. Why do you hide up here? Excuse me? You're this brilliant, unexplainable creator. I, I don't even understand the medium, right? I just feel like this lady's always just mad. She is. She like she gets really sassy with him in the second chapter, which I don't think you were here for most of. Um, because you went you went to bed early last night, but like she's just like She's mad at him for because he hasn't decided whether or not he wants to fully be this rock star. He just wants to go back to his family at this point because, you know, everyone has expectations and stuff. But she keeps getting mad at him because she's like, you're giving up this chance. Like, you don't even know what you're, you know, like doing here. Um, and I think it's because she's just mad that she doesn't get to be the star of the show. I don't know. And I don't know. You seem ashamed of it. Ask me how good I am. How okay. good are you? I'm the greatest that's ever been. Then why are you so mad about it? It has nothing to do with shame. I'm just uh, plotting my arrival. What is that? What is happening? Uh oh. Force change. Hyperion whale zone. A home of the glamour gone. Why are we going to the Hyperion whale zone? Danger level. Dolphin. Oh no. Did you do this? No. No! Lightman wanted to choose the stage. He's going back. He's going to die. <gasps> Lightman's going back to die at the Glamorgans. No. Yeah, I let Lightman pick. What's he doing? No. We're gonna have to go see the fart moth again. It's so derivative. Now that everyone likes him, I don't. Where to? Uh, main theater, I suppose. Chemical. What's happening? Oh, I love danger. I love danger. Where's Lightman? He's gone. This is bad. <laughs> Dreadful, hyper-catastrophic. 
What's wrong? What's going on? There are no other options. Oh. Francis Vendetti must play. Oh no! Don't be stupid. He's the captain. If he does not play, there is no hope. We'll drift out here forever. Oh no! I think we should chill, okay? What's so dangerous about this show? Danger level dolphin doesn't sound so bad. Ah! <laughs> uh, for those that were here for the the dolphin discussion, y'all know how dangerous dolphins can Francis. be. Dolphins are the most vicious creatures in the universe. Mm-hmm. The Hyperion Whale Zone. <laughs> it's not like other stations. It is guarded by the Glamagon. Only Lightman has faced it and lived. And he is not the showman he once was. If the Glamagon is not entertained, no one passes through the station. Not the crew, not the ship, not the crowd. No one. And the performer gets vaporized with a laser. I might never make it home. You might not even make it to the glamour gone. That's correct. To get a show with the glamour gone, you must first impress the tastemaker. She books the stage, famously hard to impress. Jungle is filled with wandering musicians who never made the cut. Lightman is in danger. We must act now. I know that. Uh, I feel like this is a direct commentary on dolphins being the most intelligent beings in the uh, Hitchhiker's Guide universe. Possibly. Maybe we. Can I can see a lot of inspiration from that. Try and skip the dimension before anyone knows we're here. I can feel it in my antennae. The Glamagon already knows. Uh what a goddamn mess! We got this, guys. I'll um, play. You know. Yeah, potato! Absolutely not. Oh. You're good, okay? You might even wail. Mm-hmm. This is a weird because she just said you have to play. But the glamour gone will destroy you, Francis. Francis? I'm afraid this is a moment beyond the measure of Francis Vendetti. There's no Francis Vendetti in the extraordinary. Out there, damn it! They call me the elegant potato! Soloist of the first intergalactic transmission. And not a single organism can compare to the power in these ten little piglets. Oh. You believe that? I have to. Wish me luck if you want, darlings. Now watch this. How oh, Clipso is too good for him. <sighs> now watch this. Now watch this. Here we go. Hyper speed. I love the art style of this game. Look how pretty this little forest is. Oh, look at all these little guys! 
Shush now, you little French pastries. Thank you. Wonderful crowd. Great to be here. Yes, yes, sir. Thank you. Wonderful crowd. Great to be here. Oh, thank you. Oh, wonderful crowd. Great to be here. I'm getting turbo interference. What's happening down there? I'm engaging with the local riffraff. They worship me. I bedazzled them. They may have me confused with someone. They may have me confused with someone else. They may have me confused with someone else. You got eyes on Lightman? Can you get through to him? Nope. Not answering. It's a gorgeous, funky little he game. Won't. Yes. Nope, he's not answering. He won't. He's starting his way up jungle. Same old show, same old song. Ask what the locals thought. Did you little nuggets see Lightman? How was it? Delirious. No help at all. Lightman survives this, which he probably won't. I'm gonna fire him into space. God, he'll be halfway to the tastemaker by now. I should hope so. He's the support act. You know, I don't believe in miracles. But I might believe in... Potato! Thanks. Alright, here we go. Alright, we're doing that jump. Here we go. I like that within five minutes of playing this game, I've already died. This got really hard last night. Jungle always feels a little electric when there's something special creeping about. And when special things wander this way, they only got one thing on their minds. The glamour gone. Out there, you might be a monarch of kingdoms, but in the whale zone, you ain't bigger than a ladybug. It's a new scene. Exactly. So I must ask you this. Is yours a tale worthy of the Hyperion Whale Zone? My story begins at 16A Park Street. It's just past Gliston Heath, off the M1. <laughs> Go on. I'm the soloist of the first intergalactic transmission. I am the elegant... Potato! You're... blowing my mind cavity. Before this day ends, I will be stood before the Glamorgon. And it will say, Encore. Ooh. Magnifique. You'll need to audition for the Tastemaker. You got a support act? Yeah. He's called Lightman. He's already on his way. Excellent. You've got a, hi you've got a hype for your arrival, my friend. That location sounded British, but his voice acting isn't, yeah. And hype always starts with the early swell. Out on the jungle moss. Okay, here we go. Oh, she just she just had eyes like I was gonna play with her. Never mind. Fuck that up. That would sound so wrong out of context. What would? Oh no.
She had eyes like I was gonna play with her. She had that. She had eyes like I was gonna play with her. Deep, blue like the ocean. Okay, I'm done. Sorry. The terrain is all like the same color, so I had no idea where exactly I'm heading here. I keep thinking I'm gonna die and then I don't. so pretty here! There's lightning! Oh! Zom. Zom. <laughs> Francis, my little humanoid companion. Traveling well? I hope so. What is that? In the distance. Lightning has secured an audition with the Tastemaker. Interesting. The show is about to begin. What happens now? Up ahead is a listening outpost. They've got many ears on many sounds. Mm -hmm. Make a show in there. Answer their questions. Play some guitar if you can. The Tastemaker listens to all broadcasts from the listening outposts. We need your name to reach her before you do. Got it. hit me if I tried to cross the bridge there. Hey up there! Lost old Martin! Right no horns. Crap, uh, sorry. Ah, fine. It's fine. Heard you staring at the jungle. Place is even. What are you doing up there? I'm the furthermost scout on the frontier. Listening out for the new sounds. They're waiting for you at the outpost. Thanks. Look, look, here he comes. I thought it was dreams. Potato. of the first intergalactic transmission. Welcome to the frontier. We've watched your rise with immense curiosity. Marching towards the tastemaker, yes? One boot after the other. Solid. I can see your sound playing out well here. I have organized an interview with the public audio zappers. Hmm. A meet and greet, if it's not too much trouble. Um... Of course. Of course. <laughs> I demand no one look me in the eye. I could die Just like right now. We said his name three times and he has appeared. I just want to dance with him like this. Fresh into the whale zone. Here with us now on Devo and Bitbot. 
It's the elegant. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Uh, pleasure. Pleasure. You're touring out here to impress the taste maker, hoping to get a show booked with the glamour gun. <laughs> if the taste maker were listening right now, what would you say to her? I would say, welcome to the Age of Potato. I look forward to a lofty endorsement. I'd say, welcome to the jungle. Uh, I look forward to a lofty endorsement. No. Welcome to the Age of Potato. Sounds, uh, they all sound too cocky, but oh well. Um, welcome to the Age of Potato. Welcome to the Age of... We've got a trillion questions sent in from across the zaposphere. Think you can handle it? Uh, you may have three. You may have three. I'm gonna be nice. So shall it be written. Question one. What are three essentials on your backstage right? Shasha tea leaves, four miles of fruit roll-up, or an ice replica of La Sagrada Familia. I'm gonna say Shasha tea leaves, because we Shasha mentioned them before. Leaves. Um, octopus mixologist, non-negotiable, an eerie fortune teller, a flightless bird who smokes a pipe, an eerie fortune teller, an eerie fortune teller, and a hot air balloon, a marble staircase that leads to nowhere, or a hover car with a full tank of gas and no plates. A hover car with a full tank of gas and no plates. Question number two. Ooh, this one's salty. Have you had any companions on the road? A moth who was fluent in a dead language, Harold Dent, though he'd been dead for several years before we met, and ah yes, a girl with the memories of a Korean tank commander. A moth who was fluent in a dead language. A moth who was fluent in a dead language. Here's a hard one for you. Question three. Before you were... What was your occupation? Conservationist of impossible creatures, a zero gravity architect, or a video dome projectionist. Zero gravity architect. A zero gravity architect. Fuck yeah. You've been a beach. Thanks. And we're clear. The contest winners are outside. We're clear. I'll wear the same shirts as him. Alright, everyone, step right up and get your photo. I have to use the musical key to pull shapes. Interesting. Incoming message. Zipnoid priority. Where is that priority wise? Right near the top. Oh. Okay, patch it through. Francis! Sorry about uh, leaving the English way. Had to make my move while the getting was good, you understand? Sora, thank you for redeeming gorgeous, gorgeous girls. Make sure I've got enough hair to do. Make it look good. Thank you. Lightman, what have you done? You've marooned us all. Oh, no, 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 no. Not if we put on a show to remember. Mm -hmm. And kid, I got exactly one memorable show left in me. Violetta's gonna cut you up. Violetta is devastated, or Violetta- I'm gonna say Violetta's gonna cut you up! Violetta's gonna cut you up! Don't you worry about Violetta. She's a drag. I'm pretty sure she's a genius. Never mind all that. You and I, we're trailblazers. Mm -hmm. We're the last gunslingers in town. Kid, this is our destiny. This isn't about destiny. This is about you. Purple hair looks so good on you. Thanks! Maybe I'll try it someday. I'm scared. I'm a scared little gal to do something fun and funky. It's about you reaching out to something that's never gonna come back. 
Mm -hmm. And not caring who gets hurt along the way. Violetta deserves better than you. <gasps> better than both of us. I'm about to go on stage for the taste maker. You got it, kid? My name is... Wow! Do you listen to me. Your day job doesn't prohibit it. I think you should try it. No, my day job doesn't prohibit it, but I don't know. I feel like I look crazy. I don't know. Maybe I'll do... <gasps> Maybe I'll do it for like one year of streaming or something. Year one. Or I'll do a subathon. You guys can work on a goal or a community goal or something. I don't know. I'll think about it. Tonight, it's scary. It's my stage. You can always get a wig to try it out first. That I could do. Make sure you set your set finishes on time. You can let me know how it looks from the stands. I've got no one left to impress. Well, you can let me know how it looks. Uh, make sure. Uh, you can let me know how it looks from the stands. How it looks from the stands. Will you save it for the spotlight, Captain? Damn. We're sending a report down the line. Care to sprinkle a few notes over the top? Sure. There we go. Wouldn't let me jump. You're welcome, sir. Oh, oops. Okay, I didn't realize I was supposed to be looking at the roof of the house. Gonna alert because you're falling asleep. I love you all. Go home and see you at Tombs tomorrow. Yes, have a great night, Sora. I hope you get some great sleep. We'll see you tomorrow for Tombs birthday. It's gonna be great. I'm very excited to see you there. And I, I hope you get some good rest. Thank you for being awesome and thank you for hanging out as long as you did. Again, I know scary games are not your jam. So I appreciate you being there. Thank you. I love you. Have a great night. Papaya. <laughs> Give Sora all the love. Tell Sora good night. Tell Sora to get some sleep tonight. Oh. Night Sora. Oh god. Oh! I feel suddenly lightheaded. Oh god, it's the drugs. Beetles of my mind were marching in some sideways parade. Yeah, he's definitely on hallucin hallucinogenics. To the taste maker. That's right. You think she'll like you? Or hurl you into space? I've been hurled into space before. It's barely an inconvenience. <laughs> wow, okay. Potato's gone wild. much it's so pretty oh well, there's lightman this must be lightman's audition it's broadcast live from the tastemaker yeah hopefully it's not his last stand Oh. Lightning's audition is coming to an end. And? How was it? It was fine. 
That's it? What does fine mean? I was led to believe fine was a devastating critique. Oh! Yeah, you're probably right. Well, I'll just have to be even more spectacular than usual. <laughs> I'm afraid that may not be enough. What? Why? A poor opening act is like a stale hors d'oeuvre oh, or a terrible no. kiss. Does not bode well for the main affair. Even your most spectacular show may not be enough to sway the tastemaker. There's nothing we can do? Oh, there's something. I don't like where this is going. <laughs> but it's far too dangerous. I wouldn't suggest it at all. Even though it's very close. Tell me. A monumental event in waiting. Mm -hmm. A creature that only appears once every 10,000 years. If you can convince it to carry you to the tastemaker. A publicity stunt. There's a village. It's in a cave on the far side of this field. <laughs> the rest is up to you. I fucking can't with Zom. And Francis. There's something else you should know. Yeah? The time in Calypso is 7.04 p.m. on Saturday. Oh, evening. no. That's not good. My show. Crap. Come on in an hour. I know. Seems almost impossible, doesn't it? He's relishing in this. Okay, we gotta be quick. We can do it. Uh, hey, man. Uh, is it cool if I go in? Do you? You sure? It's pretty bleak in there. There's no party, obviously. It's a no party zone. Might wake the damn thing up. I'll make sure not to party. No noise of any kind, okay? The flower pods might start dancing. Uh. Dancing's how parties start, apparently. All right, well. Ah, oh, he's brilliant. Like my well, he is really. We've seen it before, but I thought this time, thought he might have added a little mm, shrubbery. You know, shrubbery, something fresh, a, a bloom of something strange and new. I love her voice. <laughs> Am I making any sense? I love that voice. Okay, this is how parties start, baby. Monster. It's Zeppelin sized. Little dude. Is that you causing a rumble? Oh, I might be back in business yet. Oh, keep it up. Got you. Oh, we demand a shrubbery. Yeah, oh, apparently we're in the Monty like Python Lightman, now. Okay? He's royalty. But I don't know. This time, I wanted to stand a peed, you know? I wanted to experience something raw and unseen. I wanted to fear for my life. Uh-oh. What in the blazing fudge is going on down here? This place is one funky riff away from catastrophe. If anyone goes upstairs and causes a racket, well, I could lose my pension. Sorry, dude. I don't mean to... Let me see if there's anything else over here. So bloopily. He's just like a big blob. Whoa. <laughs> Where's the party? 
This is my jam. They're playing my jam. What is your name, friend? They call me Floyd. Floyd. I got a favor to ask you, Floyd. Yeah, hi, friend. You want to ride on my head, don't you? Yes, Floyd. I do. <laughs> We're so winsome. We're so, like, flirtatious and charismatic. Yes, Floyd. I would love. I would love it. Ooh, excuse me. Floyd the Zeppelin. God damn it, that's amazing. I'm glad you picked up on that. Crane Floyd still. That's okay. This game is so fantastic. Look how happy! Here we go. Just undulating into the unknown. You trying to Wait challenge me? Here we are, young blood, at the gates of Graceland. You have made a humongous miscalculation. I will not be renewing your contract. You've put lives in our hands. Yeah, I'm gonna say that. You've put lives in our hands. Shush now. None of that. Oh, <gasps> what a dick. Shoulders back, stand up tall. You're. I understand that. I'm I'm having a young heart attack. I have no idea. I'm potato. Um, like I like Lightman because he was the one that encouraged us or encouraged us to be who we actually are inside. But this motherfucker is gonna get us killed. You've come a long way, baby. Oh. You. I know you. Yeah. You're the tastemaker? <gasps> I am. I alone book the stage for the Glamagon. Wow. And a more dazzling application I have not seen. I told you. Lightman and... Attain. It's an event of celestial enormity. You're eager for judgment, Lightman. Then you shall have it. Lightman, Jammer of the Glamagon. When we first met, you were already a beast among slow-moving mammals. You have dared the universe to deny something so frightfully evolved. And in the process, you've become one of the greats. Words that will wander my dreams. 
And the teenage riot? Potato! You look different. Thanks. I feel different. I am. I'm more messed up than ever. I feel different. I feel different. You are a frightening talent. Thanks! When I arrange every facet of you in my mind, I can hear you like a chord. Oh, yeah? And in the wonder of that music, there is something utterly unexpected. That's the nicest thing anyone's ever said to me. Wow. I love her voice. Yeah, everyone was geeking out over her voice yesterday, too. Yet, the chord contains a flaw. Oh. A dissonant note. Just a whisper of it. It's because I'm not completely sold on who I am. You know what it sounds like to me? Indecision. No? It sounds like folk music, Francis. Oh, no. That's not true. Oh, fuck. I'm the... There it is again. Folk, strummed by a ghoul in your mind. Who is he? My uncle. He's my uncle. He's a legend where I come from. What is his name? Francis, I wouldn't. Johnson Vendetti. Vendetti. Why? Vendetti. Oh my God! They know Johnson. He never died. He just went to the extraordinary. <gasps> wow! They really hate folk around here. I think they hate Johnson. Man, what cheap trick is this? He's got nothing to do with the old man. He's never even met him. You think you could just enlist another Vendetti? Dress him up and I wouldn't notice. What the fuck? Another Vendetti? This story just got freaking wild. What are you talking about? He does not know. He doesn't need to know. I need to know. It's got nothing to do with him. I kind of need to know. When Lightman faced the Glamagon, he was not alone. Who was... Oh. No. He was supporting Johnson Vendetti. I mean, it wasn't a left field pop. No, it wasn't at all. I just, I, I expected him to be in the extraordinary somewhere at some point, but they, like, we have gone so far without hearing about him. I was just kind of like, eh, maybe I was, like, expecting too much. You knew my uncle? You fucked up. You lied to me. Lightman's a scumbag. The whole time, you were just trying to bring back Johnson Vendetti. Oh, I didn't even think of what this means for him. He thought that someone actually noticed his talent for once and all he was doing was fucking <coughs> bringing another Johnson Vendetti. Like all those other folks. Oh, this is so sad. Searching in me for some dead man I never met. No, no, that's not true. Maybe I did want to bring him back. But I never asked you to be like him. That's why he won't call you Elegant Potato, he only calls you Francis. Yeah. I never wanted you to be anything other than whatever it is you are. You don't even know who I am. I don't even know who I am. The universe turns, Lightman. Except a few minutes ago when he knew he had to get you on his side. Exactly, that was, yeah. Stars die, evolutionary branches rise and fall. Yet you have remained in your singular moment. A legacy act. And the stage of the Glamagon is reserved for the future, not the past. Francis, 
The future is yours, if you have the courage to grasp it. But you cannot face the Glamagon with a head full of ghosts. Your application to jam with the Glamagon <coughs> has been denied. <coughs> well. I'm sorry, kid. You understand one day. I don't think I will. No. I think I'm getting- I think I know what's gonna happen here. I think we're getting thrown back to Calypso, and I think in order to embrace who we actually are, we have to go up in front of all our family and friends. Why'd she steal your drip? Because let's face it, I'm heading back to Earth. <laughs> and be wearing that- that sexy orange hot pants and red stockings and garters was just not gonna work out. Would have been amazing. Just land into my living room and be like, "Hey, mom." Well, it really don't seem like that long ago that I was standing here. Rain falling down on my toes. Platform 23 It really don't seem like that long ago Time goes by so fast It really don't seem like that long ago This fucking guy the past. And if it don't work out You live and you learn if it don't work out, someone else's record to a show. These people. And if it don't work out. Strum a folk ballad about the toil of a miner's life. Oh shit, okay, this is me. <laughs> oh, this is cool. I am the elegant potato from 16A Park Street, soloist of the first intergalactic transmission. all those buttons at the same time that is strange no funk music not a flighty strum oh maybe i was wrong about you but what will the folks of calypso make of this new creature they can suck it <laughs> calypso never heard of the place maybe you're thinking of someone else Oh damn, he's just done done. Maybe I am. 
Where are you headed? You know where I'm headed. The Glamagon. You know what would be interesting is if instead of bringing Lightman, he brought Violetta as his support. And she got to like do like a massive laser show. Anything? No. Wait. And they did like something completely different than anyone else has ever done. What is that? It's the strange fleshy creature. <laughs> Zom, move the ship around. We're rolling out. Where are we going? It's time for my arrival. <gasps> See, I knew it. Ooh. Yes. Fuck yes. Okay. This is about to be epic. Okay, let's see how many times I fuck this up. <laughs> oh god, I'm gonna die. Oh god, I'm gonna die. I'm getting all emotional at Potato's journey. You got this. Thank you! <laughs> Oh god, it's back! I've marched across the galaxy to jam with you, Glamour Gone. From the far side of 16A Park Street! It's just past Gluston Heath off the M1. <laughs> Why does he always have to say that? I am the soloist of the first intergalactic transmission. I am the elegant potato. I've heard of you. Thanks. Oh god! That's what I thought I did. This music so much, I do too. Honestly, I might have to play this again off stream because I just I love this so much.
think you can get the soundtrack on Steam? Don't even. I, this is all I will listen to for the rest of my life. of the followers. Yeah, look at this. This is crazy. As are you, Glamorgon. As are you, Glamorgon. The rare and brilliant as you are. It was not your music that shocked my gelatinous man of mind. Your laser show is <gasps> rivaled in this dimension or in another. Also, was that a fucking gladiator <laughs> reference? I hope so. <laughs> Who is responsible? I don't think I'm allowed to say. Oh, new persona. Oh. My name is the Miragio. And that is all you shall ever know. You are a transformative talent, Miragio. You may count yourself among the visionaries who have entertained the Glamagon. That means very little to me. <laughs> She's just a bitch! Oh, we called it though. She's sassy. We knew she was sassy. The name may form a mantra on my lips. Your cosmic lung is cleared for the next station. Thank you. Thank you, my new friend. You are most gracious. You can stop me. I'm gonna say you are most gracious. You are most gracious. 
I'm also giving you this complimentary galaxy skipper by anti engine. No. Oh. If you want the impossible, you want anti engine. Did she just have to do a sponsored ad? What? <laughs> She 100% did. Okay, There's cool. Like Cruise across the universe to shoot those post-show jitters. Is there anyone you want to pick up along the way? Yeah, I think there is. <gasps> Bye, Lena! The most 80s fucking idea of a futuristic what? car, yeah. <laughs> so what now? Well, I'm the laser artist who inspired a glamour gone. Probably gonna cruise around, forget my friends, get some questionable habits, reap the benefits of fame. No one knows it's you. I'll wear the helmet. <laughs> Wait, is that? Lightman. You son of a bitch. Hey. 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 You wanna lift? No, no. Got a lot to chew over. Why didn't you tell me? Do you just chill it in space? Yeah. Because I thought it didn't matter. And I was right. Kid, you're a star. We'll catch you around, Mark. I'll think about it. <laughs> Bye, Lightman. Where are we going? Who cares? We're on a victory lap. Did you know Lightman played with Johnson Vendetti? That was way before my time. I suspected he might not have been alone. I didn't know it was your uncle. Mm. I don't know something crazy I heard about Johnson Vendetti. Yes. He hated the outdoors. Hmm. Rivers, streams, mountains, everything he wrote about. That's just who he dreamt he was. Huh. huh. That's interesting. So even... Even Johnson Vendetti wasn't... Johnson Vendetti. That's crazy. Oh no, the poster's all worn out. Yeah, shocking. Hello, to welcome in, Harley Quinn. How are you doing? Long time no see. What's up? You can't just leave me here. I'll never readjust. You still gotta play your hometown show. I can't. I missed it. The festival's over. You haven't missed the after party. Oh. I forgot about the after party. Not much, you. I just playing some games, having a good time, living life. You know how it is. <laughs> you nervous? Yes. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. Or no, I'm not. Um, no, I'm not. I'm content. I know who I no, am now. I'm not. Where are you gonna go? You know. Impossible to say when I'm not behind the wheel. <sighs> Turns me into a hopeless wanderer. And I feel like it's time to wander. She is wild. Well, I thought, you know, that we were a good team. We're just starships passing in the night, kid. Oh. I'm not looking for a collaborator. Not for a while. So what? That's it, then? No. I wouldn't be happy with that. It's your fucking car. Wait, yeah, is she jacking my car? <laughs> Am I going to be corn again tonight or something else? I don't know. I It just it depends on what chat wants. I'm a little bit of everything. Any time. Also, who's in charge of the Cosmic Long now anyway? 
Technically, it was me. Yeah, wait, I'm the captain of the Cosmic Lung. This bitch just dropped me off on Earth and is just gonna take all my stuff? I owe you. The Lung owes you. It's my Lung! That's why I'll find you again. And... Bitch! Yeah? Don't forget Francis altogether. I won't. He's a friend of mine. Oh, That was cute. Um, I'll pass that on. I'll pass that on. Goodbye, Violetta. All right, here we go to the after party to show everyone what we're looking like these days. What else can I be? I can be anything. I can be just about anything. I can be... I feel most comfortable as a potato. Go blow their tiny earthling minds, you fucking bet. I saw Johnson in the background on that tree playing. That was wild. Even if you dress normally, you still summon a guitar made of light and can jump like 30 feet in the air. True. <laughs> Good point. Oh, fuck. You, King! You! You! Oh, it's the Skiffle Band. Oh, no. There is a world of unpleasantness coming your way, Vendetti. Sorry, I had to restart the app. That's fine. I was just showing, I was just saying, I feel most comfortable as a potato. <laughs> Where the hell were you? Uh, I was in space. On the far side of the universe. Skiffle! Skiffle intensifies. And what in Lord's name are you wearing? Johnson Vendetti wouldn't be seen down in a getup like that. Picked up in the desert dimension of Glimmerdim, found it in the mall in a, in a closet on a boat. An alien named Calvaggio called it a triumph of the Zeoian spirit. Calvaggio, do you guys remember Calvaggio? An alien named Calvaggio called it a triumph of the human spirit. I ain't got time for your nonsense, boy. Rami. I am the nonsense. Cavaggio. Now, cut the lights. I'm about to make my entrance. I swear to all that is holy, if you are not on that stage in five seconds. An entrance, whether literal or metaphysical, cannot be undone. No. Cut the lights. You better give these folks what they paid for, Vendetti. Oh, I'll give them something. I'm gonna give them something more. There we go. Oh, here we go. The skiffle band's like, what the fuck? <laughs> oh, I forgot I made the boots purple. Yes. Oh no, that's <laughs> those are my friends. <laughs> Oh, all right. I am the elegant. Oh, from 16A Park Street. I am the soloist of the first intergalactic transmission. Oh, and I can assure you, ladies and gentlemen, you'll remember this night for the rest of your lives. <laughs> oh, 
dude's gonna get himself put into a psych ward? Yeah, they think you're high as fuck. I am, baby. I'm high on life. <laughs> a game with a really good like heartful story Beethoven and Dinosaur 10 out of fucking 10 I'd be his groupie for sure hell yeah same oh This music is super 80s, yeah. At Samplify, ooh, it was done in Melbourne. Melbourne. Carolyn Kinley, Carl Weathers. The tastemaker was Lena Headey. Oh, okay. I see it. Jason Schwartzman, yes. Mark Strong. This was a fantastic game. I would play this again. I would 100% play this again. You can't wait to play it yourself? Oh my god, it's so good. I had so much fun. The music in this was so, like, strong and, like, whoever made this 100% knew what they were doing. They 100% Annapurna games are usually- yeah, I'm a huge Annapurna fangirl. I, um... The music w was so, like, emotionally riveting at times that I had a really hard time just not crying. <laughs> In front of everybody. <laughs> I just, I was like, it like, it stirred something in me, especially those like riffs that he was like hitting, like to like really nail each performance. I'd get like a little choked up and be like, potato. <laughs> but yeah, I, uh, I know this is a little earlier than I usually call it on a Saturday, but you know what? We played through two games. We've been going live. We've been live for 12 hours. So, you know, honestly, I wrapped up two games. I wrapped up Layers of Fear 2, and then I finished up The Artful Escape, and I could have not asked for a better night, nor could have I asked for better company. I thank all of you guys so, so much for being here and for spending so much time with me today. I really appreciate each and every single one of you. You guys are fantastic. So give yourselves a nice little round of applause for hanging out with me, and I appreciate you. Hey, if you've been lurking... And you liked some of the games I played tonight, or you thought my chat was hilarious because let's face it, they freaking are. Or if you liked the potato, literally and figuratively, come back and hang out with us any single time. Any time. Just hit that follow button. You'll get notifications of when I go live. And then you can come hang out with me anytime you want. Speaking of hanging out with me, feel free to join our Discord. Or you can follow me at any of my socials. Let me get those into the chat for you. Because I think... Thank you for streaming. You're welcome. Thank you for streaming. Thank you. You guys are so sweet. It was good to see all of you guys. Feel free to join the Discord if you haven't already. Just make sure you read through all the rules and click to accept so that way we can all hang out together in the main channels. And those are my socials. Thank you for stream, baby bagel mommy. Oh my god. Thank you for being here, all of you. I love getting to do this and I love getting to hang out with some of the coolest people on Twitch. And that's you guys. Like I said, follow, come back anytime. I will be live again on Monday. My schedule is going to look a little bit different next week because I've got some adult things to attend to. Uh, being an adult sucks. Just for those who are thinking of trying it, don't cancel the free membership. Send it back. It's terrible. Uh, but I will be streaming my normal days, which are Mondays, Wednesdays, Fridays, and Saturdays. If you want the most up-to-date information about when I will be live or where I'm going to be or what I'm going to be playing, the Discord and my Twitter are the places to check. Uh, like I said, I'm so thankful. I have an opportunity to drop a raid on someone that I haven't seen in a while. So I was thinking maybe we should do that. That could be fun, yes. 
Do you guys want to do that? You want to go say hi to some to one of our old friends? You guys, it'll be great. I'm just gonna jump in, check the vibe, make sure everything is good, and then we're gonna go say hello to one of our friends that I haven't had the chance to say hi to in a while. We're gonna go say hi. But yeah, again, thank you all so much for being here. Good night, everyone. Thank you for an amazing stream. Thank you, Vili Vanilli, for being here. I had so many cool people. Oh, most importantly, thank you guys so much for all of the biddies and all of the subs and all of the resubs today. And thank you for all of the raids. Thank you to everyone who followed today. I am so happy that I got to make so many new friends. And I promise you, you'll hear from me. I'm one of those people. <laughs> I, if you are a streamer, I try to be in your chat as much as possible. And if you're not, I try to check in with you as much as possible just because I want to make sure that you guys are all doing well. Yeah, screw it. We're going to go say goodbye. Just do it. Make your dreams come true. Thanks, Harry. I appreciate it. So just do it. And by just do it, let's go say hello to our good friend Gummy, who I have not been able to connect with in a while. Thank you guys all so much. And as always, I hope you have a fantastic time zone no matter where you are. And papaya. I'll see you guys on Monday. Oh, tomorrow. I will see you tomorrow. Sunday. Toom TV. One quick shout out for Toom TV. Quick, quick, quick. Shout out for Toom TV. I got it. I can do it. It's his birthday tomorrow. And he's having a stream and all he wants is to reach 90 followers. So let, if you can, go drop a follow and just like blow his mind for his birthday. Thank you so much. All right. Now, see you guys Monday or tomorrow if you're going to Tomb Stream. Papaya. <laughs>